Did you know that in countries where people eat fish, which is a key source of omega-3 fatty acids, typically have a lower risk of various illnesses compared with those who do not eat fish? You've probably heard that omega-3 is good for your joints, brain, and heart. Omega-3 fatty acids are an important part of a person's nutrition. Your body needs them for many functions, from muscle activity to cell growth. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential nutrients, meaning you need to get them from the foods you eat. They can't be manufactured in the body. In this video, learn more about omega-3 fish oil, including some potential health benefits and some good food sources. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new and exciting videos we got for you on this channel. Types of Omega and What are Omega-3? There are three types of Omegas. Omega-3, 6 and 9. Omegas-3 and Omega-6 are considered essential fatty acids because our bodies cannot make them and must therefore be consumed as part of our diets. Omega-9 is not an essential fatty acid, as our bodies can make it from other nutrients. Unfortunately, most of us aren't getting enough omega-3. In our diets we tend to have much higher levels of a different fatty acid, omega-6, found in foods such as vegetable oils and meat. Omega-6 is still an essential fat, but when we eat more omega-6 than omega-3, it can cause inflammation, which may be linked to many diseases. Omega-3 fats are a type of unsaturated fat, the type of fat that's good for your cholesterol levels. The other main type of fat is saturated fats, which raise your cholesterol levels. For a heart-healthy diet, it's good to swap saturated fats for unsaturated fats. There are three types of omega-3 fatty acids. Alpha-linolenic acid, ALA. Dicosahexaenoic acid, DHA. Icosapentaenoic acid, EPA. ALA is mostly present in plant sources, such as chia seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts. DHA and EPA are mainly found in cold water fatty fish, such as mackerel, salmon, herring, and sardines. Omega 3s are essential nutrients that you need to get from your diet. Although ALA is an essential fatty acid, EPA and DHA have many more health benefits. Our bodies can make some EPA and DHA from ALA in the food we eat. However, this process provides just a small amount. So, it's essential to eat foods that already contain them. Where to get omega-3 from? Fish is a recommended part of a healthy diet for most people. Oily fish are the best source of omega-3 fats that are essential for good health. Aim to eat fish twice a week. To get the most health benefits from eating fish, pay attention to how it's cooked. Grilling, broiling, or baking fish is a healthier option than is deep frying. Many types of seafood contain small amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. Whitefish and shellfish contain smaller amounts of omega-3s, around a tenth of the amount in the same weight of oily fish. Fatty fish contain the most omega-3 fatty acids and seem to be the most beneficial to heart health. Good omega-3 rich fish options include Salmon, sardine, mackerel, herring, tuna, and trout. You can also get some omega-3 from eating eggs, fortified with omega-3s. If you are vegetarian, vegan, or simply don't enjoy oily fish, there are some fish-free ways to get some of your omega-3 fatty acids. Vegetable-based ALA alternatives include Flaxseed and flaxseed oil, walnuts, soybeans and soybean oil, chia seeds, hemp seeds, canola oil and algal oil. Omega-3 Health Benefits from Eating Fish 1. May Support Heart Health Did you know heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide? Studies show that people who eat a lot of fish have much lower rates of heart disease. Because fish oil has anti-inflammatory properties, it may help treat conditions involving chronic inflammation. Inflammation is your immune system's way of fighting infection and treating injuries. However, chronic inflammation which is long-term inflammation that can last months to years is associated with health conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Reducing inflammation can help treat symptoms of these diseases. Other heart benefits from omega-3s in fatty fish include Improved cholesterol levels. It can increase levels of good cholesterol and may also lower levels of bad cholesterol. Decreased triglycerides. Too many triglycerides in your blood can increase your risk of heart disease. Maintain normal blood pressure. It's thought they help blood vessels dilate, so the heart doesn't need to push blood around the body so forcefully. 2. Improvements in brain function. 
Your brain is made up of nearly 60% fat, and much of this fat is omega-3 fatty acids. Therefore, omega-3s are essential for typical brain function. People who eat more fish tend to experience a slower decline in brain function in old age. 3. Protect eye health. Getting an adequate intake of omega-3 may help protect eye health. Like your brain, your eyes rely on omega-3 fats. People who don't get enough omega-3s are at greater risk of eye diseases. Eye health begins to decline in old age, which can lead to age-related macular degeneration, AMD, which is a leading cause of irreversible vision loss. Eating fish is linked to a reduced risk of AMD. 4. Supports healthy skin. Skin health can decline throughout your life, especially during old age or after too much sun exposure. Omega-3 fatty acids in fish may help maintain healthy skin. 5. Supports bone health. During old age, bones can begin to lose their essential minerals, becoming more likely to break. Calcium is very important for bone health. Omega-3 fatty acids can help bones retain more calcium and are associated with better bone mineral density, BMD, which could help prevent bone disease. 6. Supports joint health. Higher levels of omega-3 from fish are associated with better joint health. Fish oil has strong anti-inflammatory effects and may help reduce symptoms of inflammatory diseases, especially rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, RA, is an autoimmune disease that involves chronic inflammation of the joints, with symptoms that include pain, swelling, and stiffness. Supplements As with supplements, the heart-healthy benefits from eating them doesn't seem to be as strong as it is from eating fish. It is recommended that you meet your nutritional needs through what you eat rather than supplements. So, if you eat fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, or sardines a few times a week, you may not need a fish oil supplement at all. Some people may not get enough omega-3 from their diet, and therefore, they may benefit from taking fish oil supplements. Take them only under the guidance of a doctor. Other dietary fats can improve your absorption of omega-3 fatty acids. Therefore, it's best to take your fish oil supplement with a meal that contains fat. Many supplements contain up to 1,000 mg of fish oil per serving but only 300 mg of EPA and DHA. So, if you choose to top up on omega-3s by using an over-the-counter fish oil omega-3 supplement, read the label and choose. A supplement that contains at least 500 mg of EPA and DHA per 1,000 mg of fish oil. Go for a supplement with lower levels of vitamin A. And don't choose fish liver oils, they contain less omega-3 than fish oils and are high in vitamin A. This vitamin can be toxic in large amounts. Anyone who develops serious complications, such as an allergic reaction, rash, vomiting, or breathing difficulties, should stop taking fish oil and seek emergency help. Side Effects Most people who take fish oil supplements do not experience any serious side effects. It's uncertain if people with fish allergies can safely consume fish oil supplements. That said, people should check with their doctor before using them and should not self-prescribe. Fish oil supplement side effects are usually mild and might include a fishy taste in your mouth, bad breath, nausea, diarrhea, and heartburn. Taking high doses of fish oil supplements might increase the risk of bleeding. You should limit how often you eat fish high in mercury because the toxin can build up in the body and too much mercury can lead to mercury poisoning. This condition can damage your brain, nervous system, and other body systems. Mercury occurs naturally in small amounts in the environment. But industrial pollution can produce mercury that collects in lakes, rivers, and oceans. That pollution can end up in the food that fish eat. When fish eat this food, mercury builds up in their bodies. Large fish that are higher in the food chain eat the smaller fish, gaining higher concentrations of mercury. The longer a fish lives, the larger it grows and the more mercury it can collect. Fish that may contain higher levels of mercury include shark, tilefish, swordfish, and king mackerel. The bottom line. Omega-3s contribute to typical brain and eye development. They fight inflammation and may help prevent heart disease and a decline in brain function. Because fish contain a lot of omega-3s, people who are at risk of these health conditions can benefit from eating them. Do you get enough fatty fish omega-3s in your diet? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to get more of this content.
Thank you for watching.